Okay, hi, lovely ones. It's Katie from Starlight, and it's late for me to be making a vlog, but I've just had one of those like <sighs> where moments where everything just like clicks into place and comes together, and I just I have to share it because it's really so beautiful. <laughs> so for the I have been tuning in today for the Call of the Magdalene course, which is a course that we run every year, or have done for the last two years, um, in July for Mary Magdalene's Feast Day. And it's a deep alchemical rebirth journey. And because the energy is different every time, I felt like I just needed to really listen to what this year was about and uh, tune in about it. And the energy is really beautiful. But the profound thing that came through is that Mary Magdalene was talking to me about the, the course and the journey. And she was saying the, the cycle of the feminine collective consciousness gets reborn during that week of my feast day. So our feminine collective consciousness is like spiraling and cycling. And every year it has a birthday. <laughs> and the birthday, according to Mary Magdalene, the goddess is her the week of her feast day. And that was really amazing to have that guidance because I've believed for so long that Mary Magdalene's story really is our story and, and her rising, everything that she was accused of and suppressed of has been suppressed within us and, and us exploring that archetype as women is just so important. But what the things that have just all come together for me <laughs> are that um, I went foraging on this weekend and it was a really beautiful amazing experience but one thing that really kind of stood out to me at the time was that so many of the plants and the flowers are um, going through the process of t turning from flowers to seeds and actually what the forager said he was like at the moment all the energy is going into reproduction and I didn't really link the two until just now, <laughs> but basically what's blown my mind is that the, the feminine flowers are doing the same thing in, in this month, in, in June and July, as, as our feminine collective consciousness is, which is it's with letting go of the petals of who we were and the expression of who we are. are and really focusing on reproducing ourselves. And this is even more profound this July because there's six planets in retrograde. And so there's this real call from the sky to go inwards and to um, go into the deep feminine. I actually get called to work with the deep feminine every July, but um, it feels particularly profound because of what is happening in the sky to kind of when planets are in retrograde you are called to go go inwards and go into the the feminine way of connecting through yourself into the truth and to have six is really quite amazing so there's this like deep call for all of us to go into our deep feminine in july and it's so aligned with what's happening in nature i mean for me the something that blows my mind about the call of the Magdalene course is that honestly so much of my path comes out of that one week of ceremonial work the following year the first year alchemy came out of it which if you know me you'll know that I work so much with alchemy and all of the oils I make came out of it and a lot of the deep feminine work I do came out of it and then the second year was all about space for me and now that I'm at the end of it, I've just looked back and just been like, oh my God, my whole year 
was about discovering what boundaries are and how to create space for myself and how to create space in in my channeling that was a massive thing that I was tuning into in that that seed in me and it just has come and manifested in the most amazing ways like the space in my channel the way I channel is so different now it's so much more spacious for the energy to come through and so I've always felt like that course and that ceremonial time has been about seeding things um, and the big breakthrough I've had is like, like yes <laughs> we are seeding we are seeding and as women it, it is so important that we use that time in na that nature is seeding and reproducing itself and its path and its destiny to really honour those those feminine ways within us and really connect to the seeds that at the moment it feels like we're pregnant with the seeds of our path the seeds of who we are going to reproduce into on this feminine cycle journey and it just it feels so beautifully aligned with what what the plant kingdom is doing and what we as guardians of our paths need to follow the plant kingdom and so if you're feeling and i know so many of you are feeling after the solstice gateway like everything's kind of gone crazy and you, there's all this change happening remember that july is for seeding, is for letting go of, of how I see it, like letting go of the petals of your self-image and coming in to maybe what is the deepest feminine magic, <laughs> which is to create from yourself and to really exploring what those seeds are and we never or certainly my experience with the the course in the last two years is you never quite understand what is being seeded it's just that as you journey with it things are being seeded and so to understand that if everything is kind of falling away a bit it's because you are really in alignment with the feminine conscious cycle that gets born in that that week <laughs> that gets rebirthed in that week uh, which Ma Mary Magdalene's feast day is the 22nd of July and and at the moment those seeds are just they're just forming within you and they, they're not even sense that you're not even able to sense them yet they're just these tiny um, little glimmers of the possibility of who you can be so um, now I understand for myself personally why my path gets so anchored in that week and I feel like it's a really really important week for for women to connect and to connect to the natural processes like alchemy the death and rebirth processes like alchemy and connect ceremonially um, in whatever way feels right for you like in whatever way feels like right for you but just honoring that that temple day <laughs> of the feast of feminine collective consciousness and that process of reproduction and one of the things that I found really interesting from the foraging is that like all of plants when when they're in seed mode when they're in reproduction mode they really put all of their energy into the into into reproducing into the future and that's really something that we need to take into account in July and we have to put all of our energy into this um, letting go of, of 
what's no longer of service and, and, and into bringing these seeds of our path forward. I find it really interesting as well because Mary Magdalene's a really tantric goddess and a lot of what's been suppressed is our tantric power on, in a manifesting level on a um, on a spiritual level on a on a high priestess level on, on so many levels on a magnetism level and and you know that is nature her her feast day is so timed with this like reproduction <laughs> tantric thing that's happening within the flowers <laughs> so um yeah, it feels really sacred. And I hope that this understanding gives you something for your part in maybe the dips that happened just before July and the invitation of the retrograde planets this year to go into the deep feminine. It feels even more important this year um, to do that. Like I said, because of the planets, also when I'm tuning into the course, the energy is just, it's so, it's so glorious <laughs> and, and such an, an, a temple energy. And so it's like, come now, beautiful sisters, <laughs> and rise in a way that I've not felt before. So... Yeah, that's my invitation to you. That's why I'm sharing this. If any of you are called to the Magdalene, of course, then the early bed ends tomorrow. I will probably do a little taster vlog about it or something for you to really tune in and see if it's right for you. N not even see, sorry. Feel if it is, is right for you to seed this year in that way. Um... But whatever you do, this design, connect to that Magdalena energy, connect to that feminine collective consciousness shift that is happening. Because one of the things that happened for me was I had this massive journey with boundaries and I really feel that happened in our collective consciousness as well with the Me Too campaign and things like that. And so... Sometimes the shifts belong to all of us. The shifts in our path belong to all of us. And the global sisterhood. And just start to listen to what, what, what is being seeded and reproduced about yourself. Maybe a good intention to set for the upcoming full moon. So much love and light and blessings and divine feminine magic to you all.